Come with me, toy fans. Back in 2009, the company Sideshow Collectibles, who are best known for their high-end 1-6 scale collectible action figures, began releasing their own line of G.I. Joe, a real American hero figures, under license from Hasbro. I was very intrigued by the figures at the time because they offered new looks for key characters from the G.I. Joe universe. And even though these figures were afforded updated outfits and weaponry, Sideshow did an excellent job of retaining the essence of each character. Take for example Beachhead, who Sideshow equipped with a modern tactical vest and armed with a state-of-the-art assault rifle. But even with these modern upgrades, you simply have to take one quick glance at the figure and you immediately know who it is. Heck, this ranger even carries his signature red beret under his left epaulette, just as he's always done. I was very tempted to start collecting this range of figures when they were first released, but as many of you will know, sideshow figures aren't cheap, and when you have an addiction to vintage toys, it's unwise to start collecting new toy lines. Which is why I was over the moon when I picked up this Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale Cobra Commander for the bargain price of 82 US dollars. Hello Cobra fans, my name is Tony and welcome back as always to the Analog Toys YouTube channel and the feature of today's collectible toy review, the 1-6 scale Cobra Commander action figure from Sideshow Collectibles. Sideshow's run of collectible G.I. Joe action figures lasted from 2009 to 2014 and this Cobra Commander figure was the last G.I. Joe product to be produced by this highly respected company. Now I know most of you know who Cobra Commander is, I mean otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video. But just for a moment, let's discuss the backstory of this character. In the fictional world of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Cobra Commander is the fanatical leader of the terrorist organization Cobra, whose objective is absolute power and total control of the world. Cobra Commander is hatred and evil personified, corrupt, a man without scruples, probably the most dangerous man alive. And in the G.I. Joe comics, he was depicted as a calculating and terrifying enemy leader. However, in the G.I. Joe cartoon, he was more of a bumbling fool, with Destro often blasting his plans as ridiculous. Success? You dare speak to me of success? You psychotic, sibilant serpent of adult! Really, Destro, is that any way to talk to your leader? Despite the comic and cartoon iterations of this character being significantly different, Cobra Commander remains a key personality in the G.I. Joe mythology, and Sideshow have done him a good deal of justice with this 1-6 scale action figure. Now although I admit that I'm really impressed with this Cobra Commander figure, I must state that this is the first Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale figure that I've ever had the opportunity to study, so I can't really compare it to anything else in my mind. The figure comes in a gorgeous box with a magnetic front flap that once opened reveals a display window which houses the Cobra Commander figure and his many accessories. After you slide out the figure and the bubble packing, you can remove the contents to reveal some amazing artwork at the back of the box, and it's quite a shame that you can barely see this art when the figure is in the box, because it is quite excellent. When the bubble is removed, you'll find Cobra Commander's cape taped to the bottom in a small plastic Ziploc bag and then the bubble can be split with the top half housing the figure and the lower compartment containing a number of alternate hands and other accessories. Sideshow have provided collectors with a lot of variety here, so let's take a detailed look at this figure and the abundance of accessories. The figure is dressed in a wonderfully tailored royal blue uniform with crimson stripes down each seam of the trousers and the infamous Cobra logo is emblazoned on the left of the chest. Cobra Commander wears tall black boots and also has a black leather belt with shoulder strap which features a brass looking buckle that also sports the Cobra logo. Carried on his belt are his two personal weapons, which include a ceremonial dagger and a Mauser pistol. This pistol has excellent paint applications, which give the accessory a brushed steel appearance. The pistol fits perfectly into the holster, although you will need a small pair of tweezers in order to fasten the miniature buckle, while the dagger is carried in a leather scabbard with a brass tip. Topping off Cobra Commander's costume is the black cape with crimson inlay, and this cape is attached to the tunic via two small magnets. And finally we have the scepter, which is masterfully painted. The handle is afforded the look of a genuine wood grain, and the head of the scepter is brilliantly sculpted, and has a tarnished brass look to it. We now have a complete Cobra Commander figure, but to improve the displayability of this product, Sideshow have provided us with an excellent display stand. 
The stand comes in three pieces with the base of the stand adorned with the Cobra logo and just underneath is the Sideshow Collectibles logo. The stand is simple to assemble and supports the figure with ease. The rest of the accessories included here provide collectors with a variety of ways in which to customise the action figure. First of all we have the alternate hooded head, which I believe is far superior to the chrome faced helmet version. Now I'm not saying that I dislike the chrome faced look of Cobra Commander, there's just something a little bit off with this representation. I also think that the hooded head just looks magnificent. It's wonderfully sculpted and perfectly painted, and this accessory is easily the highlight of the entire figure. Finally we get to the hands, and Sideshow has supplied four different pairs, which allows for a variety of different poses. The design of each of these hands is so different they also provide much more expression, with a simple change of hands altering the body language and giving Cobra Commander the appearance of a totally different emotion. Sideshow Collectibles also released an exclusive version of this figure that came with an additional laser pistol. But even rarer than that is this Australian Comic Con exclusive version. And with this Aussie edition, you can remove the helmet to reveal an amazing likeness of Will Ferrell. I look good. I mean really good. This figure was the last hurrah for Sideshow's 1-6 scale G.I. Joe range, and I think that's a real shame. This company developed some excellent 1-6 scale G.I. Joe figures, and I feel sorry for fans of this line, because when it ended in 2014, there was still so much potential left in the concept. Sideshow produced the best modern interpretations of any G.I. Joe character, and I really wish their designers had been employed in the costume department when Paramount produced the two live-action G.I. Joe movies, because their work here in the 1-6 scale is far superior to what appeared on screen in those films. This 2014 release of Cobra Commander is really excellent, and I will always display this figure with the hooded head, although I doubt I would ever pay upwards of $200 for it. So if you can find a similar one for a bargain price just like I did, do not hesitate in picking one up. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to support the channel further, then head over to our Patreon page. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, thank you all for watching, and Cobra! Cobra!